Rachel, great to see you again. Hi. So it was August when we last saw you in yeah. the UK. What have you been up to? Because you had the most whirlwind 2015, it feels like. It, Fight Song was all about you and everyone and it felt like it was really your year. So what have you been up to since we last saw you? Just sitting on the couch, watching Netflix. No, I'm kidding. I mean, you can do that now, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kidding. No, no, oh God, no, I wish. No, no, I don't wish. Um, <laughs> I've been touring. I've been playing all over the world. I've visited Australia, New Zealand, and Canada, and, um, and I played all over the country in the States and did a bunch of TV shows. I played Dick Clark's Rock New Year's Eve, and I did wow. a lot of things that I achieved a lot of goals that I hoped that I would. It was what's, really incredible. What's the standout for you, do you think, Elf? Um, what's happened so Fight Song going triple platinum was okay. really incredible. Also, I got to sing a duet on the Ellen Show in the States with this young girl, Callie, who was a cancer oh. survivor. And it was one of the most amazing moments of my year to get to see her strength shine through. And it was a real honor. Kind of makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Everything yeah. that you go yeah. through. And it really does. Those, yeah. those moments remind you why you work so hard. And yeah. But now you're back with your next single, which it feels like it's going to do the same thing again. It's got oh. that same empowerment. You, you've, I feel like you've become an ambassador for, <laughs> for that kind of thing. Have you had that kind of reception from everyone? Because obviously it's out there, yeah. you can hear it. I love it. Thank you very much. Yeah, a lot of people have told me, I mean, it's, it's working in the States. It was in the top 10 for a while and it's um, charting really well. And I, a lot of people have told me that they like it better than Fight Song, which is, I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> That's so amazing. I, I love that the first two singles I have kind of introduce myself to the world with mm -hmm. are ones with messages of believe in yourself and I got you. I think it's cool. So who is this one? What inspired it and what's behind it? What's It's a love song. That? It's about you know how in a relationship things are can be very easy and that's easy to stick by someone and they can get really challenging and test you and it's about being there for someone during those moments. It's, it's a great song. Is the rest of the album, because I haven't listened to the whole album but I know it, it has come out already but is for anyone who hasn't heard it is the rest of the album like the songs that you've already put out so the album's called wildfire it came out new year's day and it debuted in the top five on billboard which is crazy because i didn't know if anyone would hear it I, you know i didn't know if this was just an isolated thing that fight song was working mm. um it's a collection of very personal stories the lyrics are deeply honest and there's anthemic songs and empowering songs but there's also moments of pain and regret and hurt and then there's moments of pure fun and it kind of spans I hope who I the range of who I am as a person because I'm not just you know empowering I get <laughs> moments where I feel very down and doubt myself and I tried to share that too on the album well you had I mean coming up you've, it feels like you've arrived for sure especially through 2015 but you definitely had to lock on, knock on a lot of doors and, yeah. and face rejection and all that through your music career. For, so for those other people who are still think, oh, maybe it's getting too late for this, what oh. do you say to, to them? Oh, do not give up. Do not give up on yourselves. It's never too late to make something happen. It's just, you know, we decide in our mind what we create. And if you decide that you can do it, then you can. And if you work incredibly hard past the point where you think, you know, you're done and you can't give any more, I, I found reserves, strength, like reserves of strength so many times over the past 12 years. I think um, also being your biggest fan is a really important thing because you're going to inevitably get rejection and people are going to tell you that they don't like what you're doing and that's fine. Yeah. But you need to stay confident and believe in yourself. Nice, like that. like that. I'm going to use that. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's end on what, what 2016 holds for you. Well, the album is out and people are responding so amazingly and, and embracing it. So. That's incredible. I have a headlining tour, my first ever. Oh. I've been opening for years, so I get to be on a tour bus and play over an hour and, and just yourself. yeah, and create this this beautiful set with my best friends. So um, I think I have a really exciting year ahead. I think you do. Yeah, amazing. Good luck with Thank it all. You. We're only at the beginning of it, so can't wait to see what happens. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Rachel. Bye.